What up, everybody? How's it going today? Welcome back to my channel, Tourhead. I was an acid-fueled teenage dead fiend, the name of my book, and I named it that because I was that. Hope you're all doing good today. Um, if you like this stuff and you want other people to see it, hit the like and the subscribe. Those are right up there somewhere, or here or there somewhere. But anyway, let's get on with it. Today, um, we're going to talk about how people used to find their Grateful Dead tapes. Back in the day, um, we didn't have this. And everything is on this. You can find anything on a phone, and it's so simple now. But back then, we didn't have that. Um, we had what was called classifieds. Now, classifieds, as most people know here, um, obviously, uh, were advertisements that you had to take out in a magazine or some sort of publication so that you could find people to actually have some tapes to trade, um, which was just the ultimate search and super fun, but really difficult sometimes if you lived in remote places or, you know, there weren't just a lot of heads around. And sometimes where you lived, there were not a lot of deadheads around, and that was a problem. Um, oh, wait. Oh, I found my alien ring. I haven't worn this for years. I love it. Anyhow, um, back to it. Uh, you would have to send in your, your typed out or texted out um, message to people um, what you wanted to a magazine like Relics and uh, I opened up an old Relics and highlighted a bunch of stuff inside of it and um, you would have to search for people that way um, put your your ad in a magazine and say hey I want some tapes so I took one of my Relics I highlighted some of the um, stuff inside of it uh, and we're gonna go over a couple of those today and I think they're super funny and super fun and interesting because you know before the advent of the internet that was all we had so I'm going to move this camera really quickly over to here and we're going to line it up under this magazine right there and I'm going to pull down some ads now that one is relics magazine is strongly opposed to the selling of any tapes. Uh, this was uh, the little disclaimer, and no one was into videotapes then, and it says right there, um, we will not do ads for videotapes, which is super interesting. Um, you come all the way down here, and these start to say, um, beginner taper trader needs helping hand. Have Muir Beach Acid Test 60... I think it's 68, no, 65, I'm sorry. That's a good start to trade. The next guy says, who will take blanks until I get enough to start trading? So he doesn't even have any. If we go up here, this person's from Britain. He says, Brit needs Grateful Dead tapes to aid tiny collection. We'll refund postage and blanks. And that guy was um, uh, in Oxford, England. I'll name some of these people because it's kind of cool. Um, this guy has 300 hours of Grateful Dead, Garcia, Clapton, Floyd, uh, Led Zeppelin, Van Morrison, exchange lists, fast response, beginner's welcome. So he's welcoming everybody. Um, that guy's name is G. Briggs, and he was back then in Guilford, Connecticut. And then uh, this next guy, um, seeking any Grateful Dead tapes. Sorry, have none to trade yet. Please help. M.G. Cohen, and he lived in Alexandria, Virginia. So he had none. Like, that guy had, like zero tapes uh, but people would totally help them out now if we cruise down here a little bit this guy serious traders have over 3,000 hours high quality low gen send list Jerry Janicek and he lived out in uh, Farmingdale New York I wonder if any of these people are still around hey Jerry um, let's cruise down here radio broadcast so this person wants to be super specific grateful dead JGB to trade um, Ike Silver, and Ike lived in Gaithersburg, Maryland, and then the next person desperately leads Summer 86 shows, so they want just certain specific things, and that's Mark Adams, and he's in, or was in Chestnut Hill, Massachusetts. Um, go way up here, what's this one say? Wanted, tabulature of Yorma's music from Bruce Kahn, so he wanted actually Yorma's music broken down, and that's up in Stony Brook, and I think that's where Yorma went up and started to, um, work at a musical college and teach. Um, let me see this guy. Anybody have 11, 17, 78 Loyola? So he just wants one acoustic set. He wants one specific tape. That's Chuck Miller, and he's from Cascade, Colorado. And then the next person, another heavyweight, 2,000 hours. Grateful Dead, many tapes. Tunes, 
tuna, credence, sorry. Um, that guy's R. Bugea in uh, Flushing, New York. Uh, and then, uh, let's see. Help, need tape of first experience. JGB Glassboro. Um, that's Michael Orsini, and he lived in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Now, that's kind of cool because I think the other night when we were listening to one of Half Step's um, live shows on his channel, um, Half Step, uh, he was playing that particular Glassboro show, uh, which was very interesting. Okay, now, this person wants wanted mint or clean copy of Varen von Tollbooth and the Chrome Nun. Now, that has nothing to do with the Grateful Dead. That's just a rare record search and a specific thing that that person wants. All right, I kind of like this stuff. Let's see. Um, PA Deadhead, Neems Tapes, RFK and others. Send lists. Um, Lee and... York PA, and then, okay, need quality photo of the Grateful Dead playing in Egypt. So that guy just wants a, a specific photo, and that's Mark Gary. Do I know you, Mark? Because I live in Portland, and this is um, a February 87 issue. And uh, you still live on, well, whatever. Everybody can see it now, but you put it in there. Ivanhoe, <laughs> if I know you, hit, hit me back, buddy. Newborn deadhead needs list correspondence. Will send blanks. K. Bassler. Greensboro, North Carolina. All right, that's cool. These are some OG ones. I love these. I love these. Okay, we'll go through a couple more because I want to keep this semi-short. But um, trades only have interesting and varied collection. Want to continue with new and unusual music. Acid test to Zappa. Paul Freeman. Oh, another Portland, Oregon. Do I know you too, Paul? Hey, man. <laughs> a lot of Portlanders in here. If I know you guys, let me know. It's ironic that I just bumped into two Portland ones that I highlighted, and I did not notice that when I was highlighting these. I was just grabbing the cool ones. Okay, this person wants back issues of relics. So these go on and on. Help, German beginner needs contact. I search for Grateful Dead tapes. Please write Volker Mendel, or Mende, in Holzheim, Germany. Oh, this guy, bass guitarist into Tuna, Grateful Dead, Crimson Blues. Let's Jam, also have tapes, we'll trade. Steve Singer in Philly, nice. Oh, help, Frozen in the Northland. Need Grateful Dead to thaw. <laughs> have some, we'll trade. Colleen, Skagway, Alaska. All right, well, these are fucking cool. I love these. Um, I will put more of these up, and I will do the actual, I'm going to go into the classifieds, which is on the next page, so it's like, Grateful Deadhead looking for a spinner girl to take to the show in Philly. So anyway, if you like these, um, hit the thumbs up. I would be stoked. They're right there above you. Um, and then hit um, one of those videos that's going to be there too. Uh, wobbly camera. And thanks for watching this. I appreciate everybody. And you all have a grateful goddamn day. All right. Peace.